Vineyard Church family, and it is an honor this morning to have Carter Vineyard uh, coming to uh, be baptized and to tell you that kind of his story at camp this past summer. I know that I, I talked about that early on, that we had several decisions at camp this year, and, and one of them was Carter. His family has had a, a whole lot going on over the past few months, but <clears throat> Carter came to me during camp or after a service at camp, and um, anybody that knows Carter knows that Carter can be a little prankster every now and then. And when he came to me, he just said, hey, we need to talk. Well, I didn't real. I just thought, hey, it was something crazy. I didn't have a clue what he was, where we was going with this. And I pulled him off to the side, and we began to talk. and And he began to share that the Lord's been dealing with his heart for a long time. That um, the decision he made, uh, or thought he made years ago, what, he, he wasn't real sure about that. And so he realized that, hey, I, I need to trust Christ wholeheartedly, but I also need to follow Him, and that's a daily decision. And so he did that that night. And we're here to rejoice with Carter. And uh, if you are here, if you're a friend or family of Carter and you're here to see him, if you would please stand. If you come here, just turn around right there. All right, so Carter, you have family here and friends here that support you and love you. And it is, um, and to know that these people in this congregation, y'all can be seated, and know that these people in this congregation love you and they're praying for you. All right, Carter, turn this way. It is my privilege to baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right. You good? 